And here is the Writer's Almanac for Thursday, the 28th of October, 2021. The anniversary of the founding of Harvard University on this day in 1636, just 16 years after the Pilgrims arrived in Plymouth. It's the birthday of Evelyn Waugh, born in London, 1903, author of A Handful of Dust and other satiric novels, who, when he was very young, was seriously in debt, had no job, he'd been rejected by the girl he liked. So he decided to drown himself in the sea, wrote a suicide note, jumped in the sea, but before he got very far, he was stung by a jellyfish, and he scrambled back to shore, tore up the suicide note, and decided to go on living. It's the birthday of the poet John Hollander, New York City, 1929, who originally wanted to be a humor writer. His book, Reflections on Espionage, is a long poem about a master spy who transmits coded messages to other secret agents. His collection, Types of Shape, a series of poems that form pictures of things. And his 13th collection of poems was The Power of 13, 13 sections of 13 poems, each poem with 13 lines, each line with 13 syllables. And it's the birthday of John Hewitt, born Belfast, 1907, a poet of the generation that followed Yeats. His collections include The Rain Dance and Loose Ends. There's a pub named after him in Belfast. It was on this day in 1886 the Statue of Liberty was officially unveiled and opened to the public. There was a big ceremony in front of the statue, which was under a veil. The sculptor Frederic Auguste Bartholdi was alone in the crown of the statue, waiting for the signal to drop the veil. A speaker was droning on, and Bartholdi mistook the signal, dropped the veil, and the speaker sat down. And it's the birthday of the man who developed the polio vaccine, Dr. Jonas Salk, born in New York City, 1914. The vaccine released to the public in 1955, and the number of people infected by polio went down from more than 10,000 a year to less than 100. Here's a poem for today by Christine Ryan, entitled Middle School Band Concert. Their uniforms, starched white shirts, black bow ties, cummerbunds, shine on a stage with chairs and stands, crammed close, young bodies merged into one great hall while the tall girl, standing in back, waits, waits to deliver a crash of her cymbals, their timbre meant to rouse like the march being played, the baton insisting along with the push and pull of the teacher's palm, melody secondary to precision, proof of lessons learned, the gleaming slides of the trombones synchronized, unlike the drums that pound within, or the rumble of applause as parents, unable to hear their child's isolated notes, rise, eager to say, good job, or next time sit up straighter, knowing tomorrow when the students watch their performance on video, the teacher will grade their rhythm, their emotion, reminding them about metals they can pin above their hearts if everyone's music starts and stops at exactly the same time. And now, as they exit, the backs of their heads are dark and dreadful, like the whispers resuming in the lobby about the seventh grader who hanged himself at home over the weekend. A poem by Christine Ryan, Middle School Band Concert. That's the Writer's Almanac for Thursday, October the 28th. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.